Hey friends, welcome to Only Little Coder. In this video, we're going to see how to easily, very easily create animated bar chart traces in Python. It basically uses matplotlib in the backend, but we are going to look at a library that wraps around the heavy lifting and then gives you a very small, simple API for you to do that thing. So first of all, if you are not familiar with this thing, so this is one of the trending plots that you get to see a lot these days on internet, on social media. So you get to see these bar charts moving over a period of time for you to understand how things have changed over a period of time. And this is exactly what we are going to build in this tutorial or learn to build in this tutorial. And the package that we are going to use is called bar chart race. So first thing is you have to install that uh, bar chart race, uh, bar underscore chart underscore race. Once you are done with that thing, so please import um, pandas and uh, please import uh, bar chart race. So you have got these two libraries required for you to you know uh, start with. Um, and then now we need a data set. So the main thing for this particular analysis is that uh, the way you have your uh, data set uh, prepared is the most important thing before even you could make this animation. So this format of data set is called wide, wide format where uh, you have got all these values as columns and uh, rather than usually low uh, rows. So th this is the most important aspect. So you need to have whenever you want to make any um, bar chart race for using this particular package. So you need to make sure that your index value is the date uh, which increments uh, in a unique fashion. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and all other columns that you have got except that index all other columns that you have got should be the values or the bar values uh, bar labels and the values inside it is corresponding time period value so this is how you have to create your data set you can use uh, python uh, inbuilt uh, pivot table or anything like that uh, or reshape uh, to do that or uh, this bar chart race the developer has given you helper functions uh, where you can see prepare long data and prepare wide data so these functions could be used to do that same thing but uh, yeah so the main thing is before even you attempt to make a bar chart race you have to have your data in this particular shape for for you to make using this particular um, particular library so let's go ahead and then pick one data set that is available here so we are not going to do the reshape part we are not going to do the pivot part he here in this tutorial we are going to use a data set that has been already given by the developer so this is uh, an urban population data frame so we'll take pd read underscore csv and then we are reading a csv so let's do df dot head and then see how the data set is so you can see the data set has uh, all these columns all these countries and then the first column is year but if you remember what we need is we actually need the index column we need the index value to be the time value not as a column so that is that is an important thing that you have to notice the, the index should be uh, the time variable or uh, over which the frame should be incrementing so what we are going to do is we are going to say df is equal to set index and uh, what do you want uh, here is your index so once you set here now let's do df dot head and then you can see that now your year must be index and then you have got all other columns uh, so you have got a lot of columns so th that's the thing right so you have got uh, uh, columns so you've got a lot of columns um, and uh, you do not want to have all these columns um, ideally in this plot so we'll, we'll actually look at different variations of making the plot so the most simplest way you can actually make the plot is first uh, bcr the alias in which you call the library and uh, bar chart race and df is your data frame in this case my df is called also as df and file name if you want it to be saved in a file as an mp4 then you have to give a file name but if you do not want it to be saved as a file uh, an mp4 but you want it to be inline embedded within your notebook you don't have to give anything so keep that in mind if you want it to be a, an mp4 where you want to share it on social media or youtube or somewhere you have to give an mp4 file format but if you don't want to do any of those things you just have to ignore this so this is one important thing and then the other most important thing is you have to give the title so in this case i'm going to say population population growth um yeah population growth so let's see what it builds so first of all i'm not actually making any uh, filter or anything so i've just used 
two arguments the first argument is uh, uh, the first argument is the data frame and the second argument is title which is actually required for me to make this plot and then let's see how is it going to do so it's it's a very heavy uh, file uh, very heavy data frame so it's going to take a lot of time uh, for uh, to render the plot so while it is doing we can have a look at uh, the documentation so you can actually see that uh, this this particular function it takes a lot of uh, parameters so you can see things like uh, title is the most important thing and then you can also um, play with the graphic density and you can also play with the figure size and uh, you can also set bars like this where uh, it's going to trace uh, the growth so you can do all those things with this uh, so I would uh, request you to pay some attention to uh, these parameters so that uh, you can have some idea about uh, what are these parameters trying to say and uh, how can you uh, customize your uh, bar chart race um, rather than you know something that looks uh, very normal. Um, yeah so the other important thing is the argument that you see steps per period so this is the argument that makes your animation either faster or slower so it's more like uh, the number of frames per second um, the the usual term that you usually hear about is fps so it's more like that so it will help you either increase the speed or decrease the speed so as you can see now our plot is ready and you can see all the countries are there which uh, which makes this plot ugly so this plot is uh, definitely this animation is definitely not going to go viral on social media because it looks ugly um, because we have not uh, tried to set any limit for the number of bars or anything like that but you can actually see the entire point the point is you prepare the data set in the right format once you have the data set in the right format uh, all you have to do is give the data frame and then uh, you know give the title so what we are going to do now is uh, we'll just keep it as it is just for the posterity sake and then what we're going to say is we're going to say number of bars i want the number of bars is equal to let's say i want only 10 bars i don't want more than 10 bars um and also in this case i'm going to say that i want the orientation to be uh, vertical so this is horizontal orientation you can see so let's see how uh, the vertical orientation would look like so now that is taking that's going to take a lot of time again once again but i think uh, it should take lesser time than how much it took because you have reduced the number of bars so the number of um, plot making time would reduce and then the number of rendering time would also reduce um, so while it is reducing we can also have a look at further parameters so the parameter that says uh, fixed uh, max is equal to true is again to set the maximum value stick there as the top and also you can see that uh, this is a different type plot so what we made here is slightly different you can see and what is available here is slightly different plot where you don't see things changing and that is because of this argument called fixed order is equal to 2 so when you make fixed order is equal to 2 the order doesn't change so only the size of the bar increases so that uh, you have an understanding about uh, um, it's like uh, you see the same country in the same place or same label in the same place but only the the size of the bar changes rather than the position of the bar so this is how the vertical thing looks like so let's uh, let's just do few more uh, changes so one of the things that i wanted to highlight in this video is this plot that that gets plotted is basically a matplotlib plot so there are two things that you can actually do because of that uh, the two two things that you have in your advantage uh, one is you can specify the color map uh, that is compatible with matplotlib second you can pass on arguments especially for the bar so whatever arguments that you usually use in a bar plot you can use those arguments in here so we are uh, we'll just see um, so now you can see that uh, this entire plot okay i'm going to make it horizontal because it looks very ugly to me at least um, and just for change we can use fixed order is equal to true okay we'll use fixed order is equal to true and then we are also going to say find a color palette that would um, that would be different from what uh, we have used so far so da i think dark 2 is uh, by default it is the color palette that has been used so what we can do is we'll try with um, let's say prism oh, let's see how the prism thing looks like c map is equal to prism and uh, let's see oh let's see how this um, new bar looks like so this this is the way you uh, you can actually customize the bar chart otherwise uh, anyone who uses this uh, uh, 
library would have the same type of bar plot or a bar chart trace which you do not want to do it because then people would understand uh, how you have made it and then it doesn't look any any more unique right so the whole point this thing sells on social media is because it is unique uh, so let's let's have a look at how the new uh, bar plot comes so you can you can select from all these color maps e maps uh, that can help you use a different set of colors and uh, you can also you, you could have seen the warning here you can also make sure that the color is not repeated okay so this color map looks actually not so good but um, the one advantage is that um, it has all these colors in a sorted order so it looks like a palette so uh, i think that's the main point the other important thing that you have to notice the bar that you have got here the the gray color bar that's moving along with so you can define it like this you can say that a period summary and then based on that period summary you can give uh, that particular value over here so if you want that then you can use that but if you do not want that you i mean if you feel that it is a distraction for your plot then you can just leave it as it is also you can uh, see how uh, the the customization of this legend happens or uh, every frame how the change happens you can see that there's been f string used to just show what kind of uh, period summary you want so you can see the top value and then uh, the uh, leader name and also the value or uh, number of runs hit it by that player so i think that is uh, that is the main thing that i wanted to uh, cover in this video which is to say that uh, it's quite easy to make uh, there are a lot of um, uh, proprietary tools uh, so people use tableau for this kind of purpose on um, gg animate is again uh, quite uh, simpler in uh, r to make this kind of uh, uh, bar chart race um, if you actually uh, dig into the development version of this uh, package so currently what we have installed is the version 1.0 from um, PyPy but if you actually get into the developer uh, development version you would also see that the, the author is working on uh, a plotly based version and also a line chart so bar chart uh, instead of bar chart race uh, a line chart race so you can you can have a look at those things um, in case if you are interested in i hope uh, this uh, video was helpful to you and uh, if you have any question please let me know in the comment section or if you have any feedback please let me know in the comment section i would uh, link this um, uh, repo so as usual we usually thank so this is from a company called dunder data so thanks uh, to dunder data and um, the developer Ted uh, Petro for making this um, available for free for us so that we can use it and make cool matplotlib based animated bar chart race. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.